Hi, so um, we were asked to make a video thanking the people at TED, um, which I would like to start out by doing. Um, I think TED presents, it, it creates a resource that is pretty rare in the internet, which is really easy access to experts. Um, I mean, a lot, look up how to do something on YouTube, and you're going to find a bunch of hobbyists telling you how to do it, but look up something on TED and someone who actually knows exactly what they're talking about is talking to you, which I find to be pretty cool. And it seems like we are sort of on the edge of TED becoming more populistic. Um, there's recently been TEDx, which is people can use the TED stamp, if you will, um, on grassroots conferences um, and a series of talks. Um, and now there's TED-Ed, um, or will be soon. Um, no one's really sure what that's going to be, but it looks pretty exciting. And it basically looks like things are going to be more open to people who want to contribute. Um, I also have sort of something that we should be careful about. Um, now, everyone here knows what a blog is. Um, and blogs are a pretty cool idea. It's anyone who wants to can share what they're thinking. Um, that said, there is a pretty inherent problem in how those are run in that it's next to impossible to find a blog with something meaningful to say on it. There's just so much noise. The, um, the noise to signal ratio is really, really high. There's not that much of worth being said, and there's a lot being said in general. So I'd like to say that we should be really careful, we as a culture, to make sure that we don't turn the internet video resource, which I think is one of the best technological resources that we have right now, into something like that. YouTube's already pretty clogged with meaningless stuff, and I think any work that we can do against that would be pretty productive in that it might have a long-term effect on how information is transmitted. Basically, what I'm suggesting is that we work really hard to make sure that the sense of human dialogue with experts and with really, really good information isn't diluted in any way by further advancements in TED. Because, to be totally honest, I am scared of what the future might bring. I'm scared of how easy it is for people to make noise and how hard it is to say something that means something. And I know that that's something that holds me up a lot of the time. It's really hard for me to do anything if I don't feel like it has significant meaning. So I'm really hoping that whatever new direction TED goes in is some sort of happy medium between the open-ended, populistic YouTube experience and the amazingly useful access to experts that TED strives on for presenting. Um, I'd like to thank all the people behind TED for getting all that great information out there. Um, and I'd like to thank everyone who's watching this and request that you keep meaningful dialogue in your mind. Thanks. Bye.